Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my review of Ubuntu Budgie version 17.10 which is codenamed Artful Aardvark. This is using the Budgie desktop version 10.4 which uses the GTK toolkit. You may be more familiar with Budgie from Solus, although this time around we have the Ubuntu base and it is supported by Canonical. This is the second release of Ubuntu Budgie under Canonical's ownership and I thought I would take a look back to see what it was like before in version 17.04 and I was quite surprised that actually not much had really changed. So I decided to change the theme and make it look a little bit nicer. As you can see Ubuntu Budgie is using a Linux kernel 4.13 and memory usage upon boot up is about 756 meg of RAM and retesting with the welcome screen open bumps it up to 976 meg of RAM. I'm not sure why clicking Tilix's window name results in being able to retype it. Hmm, strange. With the GTK base, Ubuntu Budgie does share some similarities with GNOME, in particular cramming loads of items in the application title bar. Hmm. A rather nice feature here, the Budgie welcome screen, it does give you a few options of the introduction features, some post-install features, recommendations, the online store, donations, and this part here, default settings, which I decided to install this additional theme here called Material Design Adapter, because it reminded me of Solus, and I thought this theme looked rather beautiful in Solus, so why not? The arc design, which is default, did look quite nice six months ago, but I have moved on now. Just bear that in mind, this is not the default styling. The layout of the desktop has a plank on the left hand side and we can easily launch new applications this way. There's a little display to show the application is running with a small cyan coloured dot on the left hand side. At the top of the screen there is a panel and application launcher and there is a search for this application launcher which has been improved slightly from the previous version because you can search for the application settings in here. For example, typing displays now brings up displays, but that's very simple. How about typing red also brings up displays because this is the red shift. In other words, night's light. A handy feature which I have now mentioned a few times recently, which decreases the blue light and increases the red light, which will help assist you falling asleep immediately after using the computer. Also in the top panel is a time, and you can click on it to get the calendar and time and date settings. Uh, there's a full screen calendar there. On the right hand side we have network, a shortcut to night light, a shortcut to places, notifications, volume adjuster, shutdown, and the Raven menu. The Raven menu has changed slightly from the previous version of the Budgie desktop because it no longer contains any of the system settings here. You do however have a shortcut to the settings, as well as lock screen and shutdown. When you're playing music, it does display the album art there, such as this, and you also have the multimedia controls of play, pause, rewind, and fast forward. Actually, I was slightly mistaken about the shortcut for the settings, that is just the settings for the budgie desktop. So there's a few different options we can change here from the style, icons on the desktop, font in use, the application windows, and we can easily change the buttons from the left hand side to the right hand side. Actually, I'm going to take the left-hand side because that's the side I'm used to. Here's the options to the panels, and you can also create new panels and put them in different sections of the screen. So yeah, I'm just going to remove that panel. And we even have the auto-start applications. But in terms of the full system settings, here we are. This is a slightly different style nowadays. So you can choose any item from the list. Um, let's go for online accounts. So adding an account, yeah, that's very familiar to GNOME. Privacy, screen lock, no, don't want that. At some point in the future, Budgie Desktop will be using Qt instead of GTK. But at this point, no, it's still GTK and basically pretty much the same as we've seen it before. I'll be interested to see what it's like based on Qt. Opening up Nautilus or Files, we do have a feature here to change the folder color. So that is now default. However, not entirely brilliant though, so if I change the folder colour to orange, it changes the style completely. So, not so good there. I mean, nice idea that you do have this option, but it doesn't just recolor the existing icon, it changes it completely. I suppose that's to an icon style that can be changed, in which case 
why not have that as the default icon set? Because I haven't actually changed the icon set, I just changed the application theming. The Alt Tab Application Selector does look slightly different now. Um, I know I said this in Solus, but I think the icons could be slightly larger here. But otherwise it looks perfectly presentable. One little trick I like is with the new application install. So the applications will appear in the menu straight away. You can see it flickered slightly like that and uh, has redrawn, well we're now missing the subfolders, but if I do a search for Inkscape, yeah, it's there already. So, nice little party trick there. And reopening it again, yeah, that's okay. So, yep, yeah, it's all good. Now I have two copies of Inkscape open, don't I? Yes. Another new feature back in the welcome screen is the ability to install lots of new budgie applets. Haste applet, screenshot applet, calendar, brightness control, pixel saver. Hides the title bar from maximize windows and creates a new one inside the panel. We even have a global menu as well. Very nice. And there's also been some additional translation updates. That about covers most of the features of Ubuntu Budgie. I think with the theme changes it does look a little bit better. It's a shame they kept with the older theme and so that means it basically looks exactly the same as it does before. Stability has been excellent. It's a nice enough distro. It is a bit of an alternative to GNOME. Is it worth upgrading from the previous version of Ubuntu Budgie? Yeah, I can't really see a reason why not. You do gain some new features on the desktop. And other than the changes with the Raven menu, I can't really see anything you're losing. So yeah, that was a look at Ubuntu Budgie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.